Chicatelli, and I am going to be your behind-the-scenes guide at Bisto Leminet in the heart of Philadelphia on South 6th Street. I'm going to be talking with Kenny Bush, the executive chef, and we're going to be getting a sneak peek of what he has created for Food for Thought, which is actually next Saturday the 22nd at Urban Outfitters in the Navy Yard. And it's an exclusive sneak peek. Nobody else gets to know this, just you. I love your chef jacket, by the way. I love it. So, Kenny, tell me a little bit more about your food philosophy. Here at Bistro La Manette, um, we focus on French cuisine, very traditional, to stick with Bistro classics, um, do them true to their originals, a little bit of our own spin on things, so we may prepare a pasta slightly differently, um, but we really stay true to the classics of French cuisine. Excellent. I love it. And that actually brings me to my next question is, who has been a very strong culinary influence on you? So, growing up... I used to watch a lot of television, and especially culinary television, and this was pre-Food Network. Um, so Julia Childs actually was a great inspiration for me. Um, although she was a professional, her show was in the home setting and how someone could take um, such simple ingredients, things that everyone ate growing up like chicken, really make them shine. Um, and so for me, Julia Childs was a great inspiration. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like we need to do like a genuflect when the, <laughs> the name is mentioned. You won the prestigious Quest Love Cook-Off. Tell me more about the competition and what was your winning dish? Yeah, so uh, we actually put together five dishes for each competitor. A lot of different dishes that went into that uh, battle. Um, but I think the thing that really spoke for itself was um, my macaroni and cheese, which is just my mom's recipe, but done with less uh, canned products and all done fresh. I think that that just kind of spoke to the judges um, and particularly to Questlove. That was the clincher. Uh, he and the judges took their food home. I don't think they took anyone else. Well, so that, of course, you won. That's like the stamp of approval. So tell me a little bit more about Achievability Food for Thought. How did you guys get involved? Uh, what was kind of the pathway that led you there? Yeah. Um, so when I first started working at Bistro La Manette, I wasn't the executive chef. I worked as a line cook. Um, and it was a charity that Peter, the owner, really loved working with. I think he has a passion for giving back to the community. So when I came on as executive chef, I wanted to continue that. And we've actually been working working with Achievability um, every single year that they've done the uh, Food for Thought event, an organization that's near and dear to us. Uh, I don't think we'll ever stop. So. And we're so lucky to have you be at the Food for Thought and also cook your delicious food, which we're going to actually see in just a minute. I'm in the kitchen of Chef Kenny, and we are about to have an exclusive look at the dish that he's gonna make for Food for Thought. So Kenny, what do we have going on here? Can you tell us about these ingredients? Yeah, so we're gonna be making a foie gras profiterole, okay? So we have little puff pastries, gougeres, uh, a little foie gras, which we're gonna turn into foie gras mousse. And then we have cherry puree and a little bit of cocoa nib, which is uh, roasted cocoa beans, just chopped up, so no sugar or anything for a little crunch component. Saute it off. We want it to be medium rare, um, not more cooked than that, because we want it to be nice and smooth and supple when we turn it into a puree. To stop the cooking process, we're gonna brandy. All this, it's just such a delectable flavor. Puree that with a little bit of cream. Cherry puree, with just a little bit of brandy, a little sugar and salt, and we're just gonna puree that smooth. So we're just gonna take this and we're gonna put it into that little puff. Put a little smear of that on the plate cocoa nib to the top, and there's your bite. A little foie gras mousse with cherry and chocolate. So delicious. Thanks, Kenny. You're welcome. So we're on to the rapid fire section of our questions. You're going to answer these questions as fast as you can. It's going to make it happen. What was your best place that you've ever visited, ever traveled? Barcelona for my honeymoon. Um, the food scene there was great. Uh, there are markets everywhere, and all of that uh, Serrano ham, delicious. Craziest thing you ever made? Tried to reproduce a peanut butter candy cake from Tasty Cake. Um, and it's very hard to make super thin layers, so it was very, very big, very, very rich, and you could only eat one or two bites. Favorite part about being in Philly? Cheesesteaks. I love a good cheesesteak. I don't eat them as often as I might want to because they're a little fattening, but uh, there's so many different places you can get them from and so many different flavors. Gotta love them. 
Me too. Favorite 80s or 90s song? The song is kind of hard. My favorite band is Wu-Tang Clan. Songs, you can pick any one you like. I'm going atomically. Socrates, philosophies, and hypotheses. Can't define how I be dropping these mockeries.